Valentine's Day means it's time for the, the talk, involving California's young adults. No, not the birds and the bees. This is business news, so instead, we'll discuss the demographic implications of folks in their prime childbearing years producing fewer freshly minted Californians. My trusty spreadsheet, filled with State Department of Finance population data, found 436, 682 California births in the year ended July 1st, down 14, 544 in 12 months. It's the fifth consecutive decline and the tenth drop in 12 years. Last year's births were 8% below the 2015-19 average of 477,000. The economy's pandemic plunge wasn't a factor in these numbers. Remember, it typically takes nine months to produce a new family member, and the pandemic became a life-changing event in the spring of 2020. A declining birth rate is a complex issue with a heavy dose of economic factors. You don't need a spreadsheet to understand that financially stressed families can't afford another mouth to feed. There are long-term considerations, too. Many couples who once were considering children have delayed growing a family or aren't interested at all. Some women have careers they don't want to sacrifice, and professional childcare can be extremely expensive. Demographics are also a key factor. An aging state population and fewer young adults moving to California mean the state isn't replenishing its potential baby makers. No matter why fewer babies are made, the shortfall means broad economic challenges, and not just for folks in childcare industries. For example, a shortage of wee ones muddles an otherwise favorable demographic trend for many businesses, a growing flock of young workers. Fewer children also put a new spin on big policy debates. How many homes does California really need? What will become of school facilities? Where should healthcare facilities be built? Do we need all these sports parks? The birth slowdown is one of the key reasons California's population growth is rapidly shrinking. Now, you can argue whether population growth is good for society or ecology. But financially speaking, more people bring financial windfalls to most business owners. California added only 21, 224 more residents in the year ended July 1st, the smallest percentage gain in state records dating to 1900. This week growth was a 90% drop from the average 211,000 new Californians of the previous five years. The nation isn't procreating like it once did. My spreadsheet, looking at national trends from the Center for Disease Control, found the number of newborns rose in just one state between 2014 and 2019, the latest figures available, Florida. The Sunshine State's births increased by a mere 0.005%. Nationwide, total births fell 6%. California births dropped 11% during these five years, by CDC math. It was the nation's sixth largest drop behind No. 1 Wyoming, down 15%, then Alaska, down 14%, Vermont, down 13%, and New Mexico and Illinois, down 12%.